Hello space fairies! So, me and animals! Gosh, if you've been watching my videos long enough, you'll know about Kiki, my unruly cat daughter who I got from the internet. But jeez, god, I wish, I wish that was my weirdest pet related story. So let's talk about the zoo. Throughout our childhood, my brother and I had an assortment of different pets at different times in our life. So the zoo is what my family calls the brief interim, where all those different times and pets overlapped. In the time of the zoo, our family were the proud owners of two cats, two rabbits, two gerbils, two goldfish, and 14 stick insects. The cats were my mum's from before I was born, and one was very shy and sweet, and the other was unendingly grumpy. Like, the grumpy one almost let her tail burn because she was too close to the fireplace and couldn't be bothered to move. We had to move her. And then I had one rabbit and my brother had the other, so we adopted two girl rabbits because then they'd get along and also not breed like rabbits. Turns out one of them was a boy. Actually, no. Turns out they were both boys and we found this out because when they matured into adults, they just started attacking each other and we had to keep them in separate hutches. My rabbit Jack was kind of mild-mannered. He just liked to hop up and down in his rabbit run for most of the day and then sleep, which was very relatable to me. Twitch was my brother's and no prison could hold him. Twitch we just eventually had to concede should just be allowed to have full control of the garden because he was constantly breaking out of his hutch and he became slightly feral. There was in fact a brief time when our cats were too afraid of him to go into the garden. He used to headbutt them. Our rabbit used to headbutt our cats. The ballad and legend of Twitch the rabbit is a story for our time and one that needs dedication so I'll save it for another video but for now just know that he'll forever be a hero in my eyes. Uh, there was Bubbles and Twinkles the goldfish well, my brother's goldfish. Now, at any given time, we never technically had more than two fish, but there were multiple incarnations of Twinkles. And this is because Bubbles was a cold-blooded killer until he met his match with Twinkles 3. The gerbils, they were Russian gerbils, I think, or something, and they were very nocturnal, so we had to put them in the bathroom every night because of all the noise they made when they ran in their hamster wheel. The stick insects, I, I don't know. Again, my brother's, and probably something he got off his friend who had an extraordinary collection of pet bugs, including a tarantula who once went missing. And that was the zoo. Outside of the zoo, when I was a little bit older, there was Nuclear and Genesis. Now, Nuclear and Genesis were hermit crabs that I technically smuggled into the country when I was nine years old. So my best childhood friend Fiona moved to Luxembourg when I was nine and I would fly out as an unaccompanied minor to visit her. One year I fly out and she just has all these new pet hermit crabs for some reason. 24 of them in fact because apparently she bought them from a store and they only sold in bulk which is a very strange detail that I've tried not to think about for most of my life. But she only wanted 10 or so hermit crabs and she was trying to give the rest away to friends and I was like hey I'll have two and she was like cool I guess. So I phoned up my mum that night and asked if I could bring some new pets home from Luxembourg and she just kind of humoured me like I'm pretty sure she thought I was talking about some new imaginary friend and was like do what you want you strange strange child so she ran with it she said yes but I don't think she knew what she was saying yes to so when I flew home I cleaned out this massive yogurt pot I filled it with moss and pebbles with a little bit of water and some fresh food and I added some air holes into the lid and I put the crabs inside and I kept it in my hand luggage bear in mind this is like pre-2011 and I was very much an adorable nine-year-old so in the very unlikely event that any of the airport security suspected me of bringing random livestock into the country I gotta say they hid it pretty well and the crabs to their credit survived the entire journey and that includes going through the x-ray machines which hadn't occurred to me as being potentially dangerous at the time like I said nine-year-old the more I think about it the more I can't believe I brought hermit crabs into the country nine-year-old smuggler straight up anyway I got the crabs home my parents were like oh this is real and we had to fashion this makeshift terrarium out of the old hamster cage and the crabs lived two and three years respectively and they were genuinely delightful I loved them so much but from then on it was all cats and dogs which can actually be a video in and of itself because there's been some characters I actually have a tattoo on my back which is seven paw prints which is one for every cat my family's adopted over the many years but it's severely out of date because my mum keeps adopting more. That's not a complaint. I'm very thrilled about this information. But I do need about five new paw prints on my back. And now, as you all know, I have Kiki, my cat from the internet, and the first pet who I adopted myself. Probably not the last either. But for now, I don't think I need another zoo.